Oh hi there, welcome back to my channel. Nice to have you here with me today. If it's your first time checking out the show, you know what to do. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, leave me a comment down below, turn on the notification bell and all that good stuff. Oh, 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 great news today. Great news today for detractors all around the world. DSP, the guy that we know as Darkside Phil, has been removed from the Twitch partner program. He has been removed. His ability to earn subs, bits and cheers has been removed from his accounts. Removed, gone, finito, out of here. And I gotta be honest, I couldn't be more happier. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not that kind of person. Usually, I don't like to dance on the graves of people. I don't like to take pleasure in people's demise. But Darkseid Phil might be one of the most universally unliked characters in the internet, you know, since the beginning of time. I stumbled across him, I think, during a random escapade when I was on the interwebs and I was looking at videos about a boogie and maybe Wings of Redemption. And then suddenly, I stumbled upon this guy called Darkseid Phil, who I thought, hey, this guy is way more reprehensible than those other dudes. They have their quirks, they have their issues, they have their faults, but Darkseid Phil is legitimately a bad human being. He seems like somebody that's going out of his way to lie, steal and manipulate from his own fan base. It's not as if he's doing it to other people, he's doing it to his own fans, people who are willingly giving him money through subs and bits and cheers or whatever it may be through Twitch. Now of course over the years he's had many faux pas, many things that you would think would get him quote unquote cancelled or quote unquote deplatformed, which I was never really a big fan of. I think by and large if your fans are happy with your reprehensible behavior look at someone like a tanamogo and they want to keep you know you uh doing and they basically want to fund your lifestyle and keep you doing exactly what you're doing then you can't be blamed for it it's more so should lie at the feet of your fans but if the platforms themselves kind of look in and think hey you don't exactly fit what we're trying to do here you're not very conducive to what we're trying to the message we're trying to spread then of course this was in their rights you know because they own the platform to decide whether or not you can use it yes or yes now the funny thing with dsp is that he's kind of made this issue for himself if he wasn't so greedy right if he wasn't so money hungry and if he wasn't so manipulative he could have been fairly okay he could have skirted by in complete mediocrity with his crappy streams non get not really engaging that well with his chat or being toxic he could have been okay if he just would have kept his head in the sand and just kept trucking along and been happy with what he had but of course this is dsp no money is good enough he needs more 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 and eventually his greed ended up buying him in the butt and now he is stranded stranded out there on the interwebs relying on tips solely in order to make up his income now there's been an interesting video obviously of him kind of discovering when he finally did get taken off the twitch partner program now i'm a little bit skeptical of this because if i'm completely honest dsp sounds or comes across way too calm and way too measured and grown up for me to believe that this is real. Don't quote me on this, but it feels a little bit too odd that DSP will be this calm considering how much of a loose cannon we know him to be. So I'm gonna play the clip of DSP discovering exactly when he got banned right now. Oh, look at that. There's some kind of a glitch. Oh yeah? Only Ice Coffee just realized there's a glitch on Twitch. Everyone's subscriber crowns turned bronze for no reason. What the hell? That's weird. Yeah. Now, see, that kind of response from DSP leads me to believe that he had prior knowledge of this termination of his partner program, you know, whatever gizmo that he had. Something tells me this. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not too au fair with Twitch. I've got kind of, you know, small experience with it. Um, I've currently actually got a Twitch uh, channel at the moment, actually. Click the link in the description. You'll see it down there and get registered. I've only got about 17 followers or something, so I'm not super heavy on there. But from what I know, Twitch aren't the best with communication when it comes to suspending or terminating your account. They don't really let you know what exactly you did. Now, you might be able to figure it out based on what you streamed but in terms of them kind of really detailing what happened they don't usually do that i think of somebody like a dr disrespect right we didn't really get to the bottom of why exactly he got uh, banned from twitch i think maybe there's been a resolution so far but it always seemed a little bit vague now could it be that things have changed and this and twitch have kind of realized the errors of their ways and, and they've now kind of disclosed a little bit of information maybe a key part of their terms of condition gets in, included in the email that you get when you receive the notice of your account being terminated or have you been removed from the partner program i think so because this response is way too measured for somebody like dsp the crowns glitched out huh 
That's definitely a glitch. <laughs> Everyone's crowns just turned into the base crown. <laughs> there must be a glitch with with uh the the uh what do you call them? There must be a glitch with the he's... levels of sub crowns. He's trying to act non-concerned, but he is very concerned at this right moment, right? Right. <clears throat> Staring at his phone, of course, entertaining stream as per usual, taking long breaks. Love uh... it. Great content, right? Quality content. Apparently, uh, something just happened very bad is what happened, <laughs> hey, <look>. guys. <laughs> Could happen to a bigger scumbag. Apparently, something very, very bad just happened. Yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> it literally just happened this moment. <laughs> tell us, then. Come on, tell us. We're waiting on the edge of our seats, mate. We want to know what happened. Uh, The subs are going away. Permanently. Apparently, they kicked me out of the partnership program, and I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, this looks legit. This looks legit. I have no idea why. Of I course, not, you I'm know not why. Not of being given any information. Hundred percent, he knows why. That little pause when you read the email, yeah. he definitely knew why. It says it right there, but he doesn't want to say. So I guess because he knows what people would say from Twitch. But apparently, See? I'm being kicked out of the partnitorship program with no explanation. <laughs> Look at his what face. It looks like. 883 subs. 883. Yeah. I just got an email from Partnership Removals. Notice of indefinite suspension and termination for Dark Side Phil. Look. Pursuant to the content license agreement dated that I guess I signed in late 2016. He's going to skip bits now. And between you and Twitch Interactive, in respect to your Twitch account, Dark Side Phil, we're terminating your partnership agreement effective immediately. Pursuant to the terms contained within, but there's no terms in the email. Okay, there's definitely terms in the email, but he's lying. He's lying, definitely, for sure here. <laughs> Look at the silence. And it shows as partnership removals at twitch.tv. Anyways, you get the drift. And you know what? Like I said, it couldn't have happened to a worse human. It really couldn't have happened to a worse human. And I only say this to say, throughout DSP's entire career streaming online, he's always kind of hidden the fact that he makes thousands per month on Twitch via subs. Now, again, I'm not watching anyone's pockets. I'm not trying to tell him how to make money. And I'm not kind of criticizing him for making the money. But to kind of um, give the illusion or give the idea to your fans that you're in such dire straits that you don't have any money Money coming in at all and the only thing that you have to basically live on our tips is really deceptive in the extreme because the reality of it is dsp even at his lowest was on like what six thousand subs or something right not six thousand <laughs> sorry 600 subs actually on twitch and if you average it out and if the lowest sub on twitch is maybe four dollars or five dollars that's anywhere between the region of like three thousand to like five thousand per month you could end end up making dollars right per month and that's not on top of whatever he makes you know converts from the, the bits and cheers and whatever he gets on top of tips or whatever it may be called and of course adsense and the stuff he gets on patreon there's a lot of money that he's getting monthly but he always makes it seem as if from his fans that he needs the funds directly in his account right now via tips to come through in order for him to live and survive and it's really disgusting and the only thing as well the other thing as well that's kind of odd about it too is that for somebody that's been streaming for so long the quality of his streams has never improved he's kind of you know some there's been occasions where he's kind of changed the background he's done some things in terms of you know i don't know uh, changing his seat but the overall you know look of his streams he hasn't bought a new camera he didn't try to experiment with green screens or anything but usually it's something you always see with big streamers whenever they reach a certain level they kind of reinvest back in to their studio right they, they maybe go and hire a studio they maybe build out the studio they already have improve their equipment whatever it may be just to kind of add more value to the actual stream because they, they're starting to enjoy it now it's starting not to become a job and something laborious it's coming a little bit more easier in terms of kind of making the content connected with your fans blah blah Blah, blah but he's never done that dsp has also never done any sort of giveaway to his fans right he's never kind of reached back and said hey you guys have been supporting me the entire time um, allowing me to make this um, allow me to have this amazing career where i essentially get to like you know make a living playing games really badly here's my gratitude for what you've done for me by giving you i don't know buy a ps5 and give that away who knows maybe you buy a game and give that away who knows 
or during, especially during the tough time of COVID. He's done nothing of that extent, zero. Now, again, I'm not here to tell him how he should be spending his money and what sort of charity stuff he should be getting involved in, but everything that you would expect to happen from like, or everything you expect to see from a very highly regarded and well-known streamer, he does none of it. And instead, it's just give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. And the funny thing about it, like I've said before, he already makes a lot monthly anyway. He doesn't need the tips. The tips are just an extra thing that he gets because he doesn't want to wait for the monthly payments from these platforms to come through. And he'd rather take those daily tips and extract them straight to his account in order for him to go to eat bloody, what is it, uh, barbecue buffet or something, whatever he's been talking about lately so like i said it's the dawning of a new age maybe this won't last and he will kind of go back to normal because this pig roach at the end of the day he has the weirdest luck in the world the jammiest person that i've ever seen on the internet just when you think he's down and out he always manages to find a way to resurrect himself so who knows he might be okay he might figure out in the end but it's still great to see him squirm and kind of beg and plead with his fans on the interwebs at the moment in order for him to get back to some semblance of normality and again will he have a future streaming normally as per usual i don't think so because a large chunk of his income definitely did come from subs right subs subs accounted for a large chunk of his income if we look at if we kind of make a, a kind of rough speculation on what he might have been earning with 800 subs that's anywhere between 40 to what sixty thousand dollars per per year he's making easily as a base rate without even trying to do anything right subs on an easy basis now how's he going to be able to like you know make up that difference streaming on youtube streaming on dlive all these other platforms Form. it's going to be very very difficult to do he can't make up the difference from tips alone that's an insane amount of money to make per day in order to make that work so he's in really really bad situation and again it's all his own fault because he took the subs for granted he he, he thought he was entitled to tips and he thought that he didn't have to work for the stream that he had and now it's coming back to bite him in the ass and i couldn't be more pleased because he's a disgusting human being anyway that's me if you liked what you heard make sure you smash that like button hit subscribe leave me a note comment down below and turn on your notification bell and i'll see you guys again very very soon take care peace